everybody. My name is Andrew Harkins with Harkins Technology. Tonight I will be showing you how to install and use Honex on VMware. First, we will go to the Honex website and download Honex. Go to honex.org and click download. Download it for whatever you're using. I will be using VMware, so I'm just going to do it for VirtualBox. Download you will download an OVA file. Once the OVA file is downloaded, you can go to VMware, create a new virtual machine. Here we will create the new VM. I'm just using the VM workstation. I will install the operating system later. I'm going to be using Linux, Debian, because Honix is a Debian version. Here I will name my VM Honix for the Honix Gateway. Let's put it in by my other VMs. I have a Honix folder already, that's where I installed the download to, or that's where I downloaded it to. So I'll just pick that folder. I'll give it one core, two processors, or one processor, two cores. I'll give it like six gig of RAM, although that's overkill for this. I'll use the NAT IP address, default, default. Since we already have Honex, we can just use a virtual disk, an existing one. Now to browse to the disk. So go where you downloaded Honix. It will download this file when you do the VirtualBox file. So you want to extract this. This will extract two files, a disk 001 and disk 002. The 001 is the Honix gateway and the 002 is the Honix workstation. Once that file is extracted, we will point it at it. So let's browse and go to the 001 for we're making the gateway. Now we have the gateway. So we can power that on. And let's make the workstation the same way while we're at it. We use the Honex, the default one. We'll use the default one. We we'll do all the same steps for the state workstation. Here we'll create a folder for it. Here we'll create a new folder for it. Again, we'll use one processor, two cores. We'll give it like four gig of RAM, so it's not super slow for us. And this one, we will be using host-only networking. And anything that's connected to the gateway, you'll be using host-only networking. And the gateway itself will use NAT and have a second network adapter on it that will be the host-only networking that everything will be connected to on it. We we'll use the existing disk again because we have it extracted. Here we'll be using disk 002. 
which I could copy it into it, but I'll do that later. So now the next part. So here we will be creating a new virtual network adapter. So pick one that's not being used. I can see, actually I have multiple that are not being used. I was using this one for testing. So use VMNet 18. This will make the subnet at 152, 152, because that's what Honex uses. So actually I'll just redo all of this. So this would be the settings that we will use for the VNet. We'll use this subnet range, IP schema, 10.152.152.0. We'll use host only. You don't need DHCP on it. We can statically assign it, that'd be fine. But the main thing to note here is do not have a host virtual adapter connected. You do not want this checked. I'm going to do a slash 24 for the subnet. So now on the Honex machine, let's look at the settings. We will want to remove the printer. Oh, let's shut it off. So let's look at the settings again. You want to remove the printer, the sound card, the USB controller, the CD-ROM drive, this is all that you should have on this. And then you will want to add a second network adapter. And mine was VMNet 18. Yours will be whatever you guys choose to do. So we're going to have a NAT on the first one, VMNet 18 on the second one, or whatever VNet you guys choose and set up. So now we can power that on. We'll go back to the workstation. We can do the same with this guy. Remove the printer, remove USB, remove sound. We want the network to be custom, a VMNet 18. So now it will be pointing at the gateway. We we'll just click allow for all of those. We'll remove the CD-ROM drive and click OK. Now let's power this on. Good evening everybody. So it took me a little bit to figure out why this wasn't working before. So after you extract the OVA file and get the two VMDK files and you add them to virtual machines and VMware <coughs> like this, here's the gateway, here's the workstation. You can, you have to set up the correct network adapter. So the network should look like this. I have mine set the NAT. This should be the subnet, 10.0.2.0, uh, 255, 255, 255 subnet mask. I have DHCP on, but you do not need it on. I'm just using it because I want to assign some Windows VMs to the Honex to use it. And so now we can just turn on this VM, the Honex gateway. I've been having troubles with the other ones, so I'm going to use this one, the live mode user. We're going to let this boot up, allow all. So you got to accept the conditions. And now you can connect to the Tor network. To view traffic on this, <coughs> you use the NYX status monitor. And this will show you the traffic being routed through this gateway. There's the connecting to it. As you see, we have nothing else going. Now, you want to go to the settings of the workstation. You want to assign the network adapter to whatever VMNet that you created. 
that's using that subnet IP. I'm using VMNet 18. Now we can turn this on. I'm going to use live mode. Again, you have to accept the conditions, terms and agreements. Let's see if it's connected. Oh, no, not yet. So you got to let this go through quick. Looks like it's connected. So this is because we are using VMware. If you want to make this check go away, you'd have to do it every time it boots up. You have to go to this config file. And then you have to change a 0 to a 1. And this check won't happen anymore, but it will happen every time it reboots up. So I think it's kind of a waste. Unless I have that wrong. So now, let's see what is my IP.com. And there we go, we got some crazy IP address that's not my public, oh that's IPv6. But still, no IPv4 address. So we got some crazy IP address that is not mine. Let's try another one. Oops. And while we do this, we can turn on our Windows 10 machine. We will also, you know, we'll just turn this on quick while we check for the IP. This is our IP that we are using. That is not my public IP. It says we are in Africa. Oh, it says we're in Belgium. It looks like Africa on the map. Well, there you go. We're routing everything through Tor. Now let's turn on another machine, another VM, a Windows one this time. And let's connect this to Tor. See which one's faster. There we go, this one be it. So let's look at this. It looks like Honix. That's traffic from the workstation. Now let's this is ten, right? Yeah, see here's our IP address. Okay, now we have a Windows 10 VM after some technical difficulties. Let's change the network adapter to the Honex gateway. How many networks do we have on this guy? Just the one. Okay. <coughs> okay, now it says it's connected. Great. Let's check its IP address. Make sure it's a 10 152. And it is. Perfect. Now let's open up a normal web browser. It's not using Tor, but it should be using Tor because it's routing it through Honix. Let's also check for DNS leak.
Okay, so it says we are in Poland. Let's do a test. So it's coming up that we are in Poland. Before it said we were in Belgium on the other machine. And these are being slow. So this is this the same IP? It's not. It says Poland or it's Warsaw. Okay. Not sure why we have different IP addresses. So this must be the one we have, the 45.76. What did we have on this guy? Not a 45.76. Yeah, it routed us to a new spot. So we're jumping around. But there you go. So we got Windows 10 VM on tour. We got the Honex workstation on tour. It's all through the Honex gateway. If this video has helped you in any way, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more technology topics like this, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.